What's happening guys, in today's Nick the Freeze career mode video we've got Monaco, if you do want to see the parts that came before this one, make sure to go to the link in the description, it will be the third link, it's a playlist so you can see everything that's happened up till this point. We've got Monaco this time, so this one's going to be a very interesting one, it's all about qualifying really, because except for maybe strategy towards the middle of the race, pretty much set in stone once we hit qualifying, and right now our car, even though we've had a lot of upgrades coming in, we are still the second worst car on the grid. So yeah, the, it's just not looking good for us. We are actually putting in a lot of upgrades and a lot of these upgrades are actually going through as well. It just seems as if for some reason, everyone else's development is just so much quicker than ours. Just take a look at this uh, history right now. We had a ton of upgrades coming through, but if you look at our telemetry line, there, it doesn't look as if we've really done any upgrades up until this point. So let's hop into qualifying for Monaco and see what we can do. All right then guys, we have the toughest circuit in the Formula 1 Canada, Monaco. We've got qualifying here, it all comes down to this. How well can we do? Can we potentially get in a points scoring position in qualifying that will help us a lot in the race? Again, dry, dry conditions. We, we're doing brilliant with the weather. Thank God, because I, I can definitely see some races coming up being pretty damn horrific in terms of weather. But let's see what we can do at Monaco. One thing I don't understand about Monaco is you, you, you just, you get so much fuel here. All right, let's see what we could do for our first lap around Monaco. We're gonna have a clean lap here. We're gonna be in clean air. Let's try and make it count. Okay, not the best first corner. I mean, they didn't really feel the grip there. But we can definitely improve as time goes on. Oh, an 11.5 from Sergio as we have a bit of a slide going out of the, the chicane. We're purple again. What? Sergio Perez has finished his lap. He's in a red ball and we're still going purple. Surely that's a glitch. Yuki Sonoda goes quickest with an 11.4. What's happening here? We're going to cross the line with a 10-7. Perez must have been blocked on his lap. Surely, there's no way he does that in clean air. A 10-7 right now puts us in P1. We're probably not going to stay there for long. Max has happened, but he only goes two temps quicker. Maybe, just maybe the Alpha Tori is pretty decent around Monaco. We could score some big points here, potentially. Okay. So we're going to be doing our final lap just a little bit earlier here so that we can get some clean air for this lap because we don't want to get blocked for any reason. So here we go. Our final lap on Monaco. We're still in P7 right now. Time to send it. All right, that's a good first corner. As we go up the hill towards the long left-hander. Yeah, we've got so much grip right now. Oh, we're going purple in sector two. We're absolutely sending it right now. I'm trying to push as much as we can. We're going six temps quicker as we cross the line with go P2. P2, surely. Surely that's enough to start in a decent position. A 10-0. Okay, and honestly, that wasn't the perfect lap. I definitely feel like we could have gone quicker. In fact, maybe we can actually save some ERS and see if we can go again. Oh! Wow, that was a heck of an impact. Let me know you're okay. Oh! Okay. Well, I wasn't expecting that. I turned in way too early just trying to push. We're gonna have to retire from the session. Well, I don't know where we're finishing because we've had to retire there. That's, that's not good. Unbelievable. Can you believe this? <laughs> what is going on? I don't know how we've managed to do this. <laughs> I don't know how we've managed to do this. I can't even show you my settings right now just to show you that we are indeed on 110%. I'll try and show it just before we get into the race, but P2, <laughs> P2. Um, we somehow managed to pull off a Sergio Perez apparently when we crashed. But wow, wow, P2. If we have a good race here, we could be on to some massive points. What a qualifying session. I can't believe that. P2. 
in essentially the second worst car. Ooh, Monaco could be it, guys. Let's move into the race and see if we can defend a podium for 39 laps. Oh, there you go, guys. Uh, just in case that for whatever reason you didn't believe me. There we go. 110 on the AI. As I said, man, I can't, that was that was pretty crazy. I wasn't expecting I wasn't expecting P2. I knew that we could potentially get higher on the grid, but not a P2. All right, and guys, we're gonna we're gonna go with the normal strategy here when it comes to Monaco because track position is the most important. So yeah, you wanna have you wanna have the best start that you can off the line. If we can get into first and have that clean air, then my God, we're we're gonna be in a massive position for the rest of this race. So here we go. We have the Monaco Grand Prix with Nick De Vries. Can we go for the win potentially? Can we get a podium? Guess you'll have to watch to find out. Let's get straight into this one. All right then guys, here we go. Our highest starting position here at Monaco. It's five red lights and lights out and away we go. AI getting a massive start as usual. Oh, we're on the outside here. Can we keep the position from Russell? It's going to be hard. He's got a quick car. And we somehow managed to, we somehow managed to, there we go. We've defended from Russell. We're still in P2 after the start of the race. I don't think we were going to get past the clerk. We needed to have a massive, massive start there to get past him. But now all we need to do is just keep ourselves consistent. Try not to get any wing damage. There was yellow flags from behind us. I'm guessing that was just through the hairpin though. Yeah, we just need to be consistent and, and try and defend the position as much as we physically can here. The clerk is probably going to storm off because we probably don't have the same race pace as him. But to be honest, that's actually good for me because the further he is away from me, that means the more clean air I get. And the more clean air I can get, the better I'm going to be able to drive compared to the people around me. So yeah, let Leclerc go on. I don't mind him winning by 30 seconds if it means that I get P2. Okay, so now the cars behind us is going to have DRS. So as long as we get a good exit from the final corner and we have ERS to spare, we should be fine. Again, Charles is is gapping us very, very quickly, which means, you know, we're going to have that clean air and we're going to feel good. George Russell is going to be probably quite close behind us, which means he's going to have to, yeah, he's going to have to break early. As long as we keep it consistent, as long as we don't end up in the wall, Honestly, we're in the best position that we can be other than P1, obviously. Oh my God, we are outside of the DRS right now for George Russell. We've actually got pace around Monaco. This is not just, we got an amazing lap in and now we're holding everyone up. We're actually gapping George Russell, which means this is genuinely our pace. The only person who's quicker than us right now is Charles Leclerc. I mean, probably some of the other drivers might be quicker too, but they can't actually get past the slower cars. So yeah, right now, oh, 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 I am I am smiling from ear to ear. I cannot believe the situation that we found ourselves in. I'm pretty sure Yuki actually qualified in P14 as well. So that just shows how far above the car's capabilities we actually managed to push this thing. Incredible scenes right now. All right, just about to start lap seven. We are currently just over a second ahead of uh, George Russell. We're now almost four seconds behind Charles Leclerc. So yeah, it's looking very likely that Charles is gonna win at his home Grand Prix, but we don't care about that right now. All we care about is this potential podium. This Okay, well right now Charles Leclerc is four seconds ahead of us. We're still in P2 starting lap eight. It's looking very likely that Leclerc is going to win his home Grand Prix. Now we need to defend because George Russell's starting to become very, very quick. We're starting to make a few mistakes here and there. The car again, even though we're in a very good position right now, we still have to remember that the car is not really suited to be in a position like this. So right now, keeping this position is all that matters. Defend as much as possible. Put the car in the right places. I don't care how many people I have to hold up. I don't care how far Charles wins by. I just want this P2 finish. And the only way that we're not going to get it at this moment of time is if something happens in the pits or if we get like a, a safety car that's not suited for me or if I make a big mistake and end up with some sort of damage. The clerk can go to sleep right now. 
with how far he is up ahead. I'm sure he's feeling exactly what Max feels in real life most of the time. When he's like 10, 20 seconds up ahead. That's probably how far Leclerc is going to be by the time this is all said and done. Okay, massive lock up there. Don't know where it came from. Another little lock up there. At least I know where that one came from. But the first one, God knows where that came from. We just lost all of our grip. That kind of has messed us up through this sector. Luckily, we've got a little bit of a uh, buffer there. Not much, though. Any closer and Russell might start getting ideas. That's not what we want. It's not what we need. So, feeling, feeling a little bit nervous here. Maybe what I should do is save up a little bit of ERS. Let Russell pit. See where he comes out. And then just absolutely send it. And see if we can overcut him. Okay, it's an inlap for me. Could be an inlap for Russell as well. So I won't use any ERS on this lap. If it's an inlap for them, then that could give me the information that I need. All right, the clerk is in the pits. The clerk is in the pits. We're going to stay out for one more lap. Oh, Russell stays out as well. What a play. Okay, well, let's see where Leclerc comes out. He was eight seconds ahead of us going into the pits. Ooh, Albon is out. Safety car. Safety car, please. Please, safety car. Come on, we've got, we've got increased safety car. How is that not a safety car? That would have been perfect. How is that not a safety car? I can't believe it. That would have been the most perfect safety car because then we would have definitely stayed in the lead and potentially even won the race. Oh, I'm fuming that's not a safety car. Let's see where Alex Albon is. We're going to pit this lap. Okay, he's, he's right there. I mean, come on, that's still a safety car, surely. Oh, I'm fuming. I'm fuming. That was that was it right there. That would have been that would have been the most perfect safety car of the season if we had gotten that one. All right, let's hop into the pits. Oh, okay, that was a that was a scuffed entry, I'm not gonna lie. Brilliant, okay. Well, we're still in clean air here. Exactly what we wanted. Ocon. Ocon. What's happened? What's happened here then? Where's where's Ocon and Verstappen come from? Have they have they undercutted George? Oh my god. Okay, well, we have new challengers that we need to defend from now. Esteban Ocon, Max Verstappen. We have to defend from them for the next 20 laps on these hard tires. I mean, I don't mind that. Esteban Ocon is a lot better to defend against than George Russell. We do have Alonso ahead of us, but I don't think he's on the same strategy as us. I think he I think he started on the hards. Meaning he should be picking at some point. Okay, we've just checked Alonso, and he is indeed on the alternate strategy he's on hard to mediums he has the stop which means we are going to overtake him and get our p2 back it wasn't an absolutely amazing plan from alonzo it's just he's on a different strategy he's not in the same race as us i don't even really know where alonzo started but right now all that really matters is us and ocon we are gapping the frenchman right now this is incredible Beforehand, we were just under so much pressure from George Russell, but for some reason, we don't know if maybe George was held up or maybe Esteban and Max just had an incredible outlap, but they have indeed overcutted George. He's being held up by all of those guys, whilst I'm just able to fly away. I'm telling you right now, guys, I expected to be in a decent points paying position. For Monaco, just because it is Monaco, you can can gain a lot of time here if you know where to gain it. But I wasn't expecting a P2, I will say that. There's Alonso into the pits on the mediums. He's probably going to come out behind the majority of that train behind me. Let's see where he comes out. Yeah, he's going to come out behind the entire train. Wow. But wow. Look at the gap that we've gotten off on now. Unbelievable. The more it rises, the more I can't believe it, even though I'm seeing it with my own eyes. Bearing in mind, guys, again, as I mentioned before, this is the second slowest car on the grid. 
and the main reason for that is the chassis so you really wouldn't think that downforce was our was our thing here okay well Esteban Ocon's into the pits now so he's on the alternate strategy as well which is even better to be honest because he just gave us a gap from Max Verstappen who let's let's be honest here Max is going to be even more of a pain behind us than George Russell so you know what thank you Esteban you've done absolutely brilliant thank you for the service I don't really think this sort of momentum is going to last long because I think I think Baku is next and Baku is going to be a horrible track for us definitely uh and then after that yeah it's just it's not really going to be great tracks for us so we'll have to take the amount of points we get from this race which at the moment is 18 and and run with it because these next few circuits aren't looking really good for a car like ours I expect to be outside the points in the next couple of races whether or not we do I'll have to wait and see you never know we could get a luck, lucky safety car lucky lucky strategy or whatever as we do a 13-4 again incredible pace right now Charles is nearly 20 seconds ahead of us this is actually around about as much of a gap as I said at the beginning that he would be by the end of, of this race so it was actually a pretty good guess on my part gonna be around about 20 seconds you'll probably be on the the better side of 20 seconds what a race from him especially at his home Grand Prix what a race from us can't believe what we're doing right now matching Max for stepping in pace in a car that is is literally supposed to be getting lapped each and every race okay max is getting closer and closer now we're losing a little bit of pace here 13 6 this time and we were 13 4 last lap not a good first corner either but just losing that grip max is getting closer probably has better tires than us as well i don't know i feel like the red bulls tire dig will probably be better than ours meaning that even though i'm pretty sure what i pit afterwards we'd still be either matching or worse than max with our tire wet but we had a lot of wheel spin there oh no, no need to worry about the tire condition for now. how are we so lucky you know what that's super lucky that should have been damaged even on standard that should have been damaged max is in our drs russell's getting closer too we've got a world champion right behind us in a second this car on the grid can we defend at Monaco? We've only got two and a half laps to go for ourselves and glory. P2. It's not going to be the win. And Charles is still 18 seconds ahead of us. But we don't care about the win right now. We're not in a car that can win. So I'm not too disappointed by it. I'm more, I'm more happy about this P2 than anything. All right. Leclerc is already on the final lap by quite a massive margin. We're just about to start. The final lap we have will spin out of the final corner he has drs he's getting closer but he's just not got enough road to overtake us thank god if the tr if the start finish on our straight was any longer he might have gotten us he's right behind us as well he's only two tenths of a second behind us we're we're under steering through these corners now the tires grip is completely gone i can't believe it we're literally sliding through each and every corner max is right behind us george russell is right behind him any mistakes and we could potentially lose two positions here let's go ers we need to use everything this lap come on Charles leclerc is about to be at the final corner of the race the grand prix what a home grand prix for him as he's about to win by more than 20 seconds i think he's about to cross the line right around about now there it is Charles leclerc has won the monaco grand prix as ourselves unexpected position second slowest car on the grid i expected to be higher than usual but not this high we're gonna go around the final corner ourselves and i cannot believe it it's a p2 for nick the freeze what a drive consistency was probably the key today there's being quick and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap if you can do that, you can capitalize on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. And here we are, a team that is no stranger to the podium, taking their place on top once again. A sublime race today and a stunning win for Ferrari.
Wow. Okay then, guys. Charles Leclerc winning at his home Grand Prix. Couldn't have been better for him, but look at this, guys. P2. The Nick the Freeze at Monaco. I cannot believe it. What a weekend. We did it in qualifying, and we managed to hold it in the race. Wow. What a race from us. Yuki Tsunoda, I think, with one of his highest positions in the race. A P12 finish. Almost getting his first points. But let's move on to the standings. Let's see where we face ourselves now. We gain 18 extra points. We are still behind Lewis Hamilton. However, we've actually managed to jump 10 points in front of Carlos Sainz. Remember, in the previous race, we were leveled on points. And now we are 10 points ahead of him. Only four points ahead of uh, behind sorry, Lewis Hamilton in the Mercedes. And we actually move up to P4 after that. We were P6 in the last one. We move up to P4. One point ahead of Hopin. I cannot even believe that we're doing what we're doing right now in this career mode. As you can is Yuki Sonoda once again zero points. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Just I had a coughing fit, but yeah, Yuki Sonoda zero points. We are absolutely carrying the hell out of this Alpha Tori team right now with 51 points in the standings. But that's gonna be it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed this P2 finish from us at Monaco. Make sure to smash the like button for that, especially if you made it this far in the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.